Yeah. Aditya will also join soon. I think we can tell you. Okay. So we will wait some more time to start. Uh, we can start soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you can mute your other screen. Yes, okay. Okay, so today we'll be just uh, uh, doing this uh, collectible actor blueprint. Uh, we will define some variables for the third person blueprint and we will create some kind of count uh, collectibles. So it is like uh, something which will create uh, coins and the character start collecting the coins and his score uh, will come on the right side of the screen. So we'll just mark a little bit of small gameplay. Uh, so like uh, if you have seen uh, what is that uh, running uh, temple run or something right so in that the character will be running and it will start collecting the coins uh, uh, like that uh, so that is the thing which we'll be doing today uh, so first thing i already have this empty uh, gameplay so it is just a set which is there and we'll just start creating a class blueprint uh, aditya uh, mike can switch it off uh, so what we'll be doing is uh, we'll just start creating some uh, class for this and then we'll just start adding uh, the coins over here and then the character will start collecting the coins coins and we will add some kind of counter also for this uh, so uh, certain counter which will uh, make uh, the coins over here so that we'll be just doing uh, so let's start by creating the class like a coin uh, and we'll just add a lot of coins over here so the character will be running and collecting all the coins and uh, we have some score uh, on the viewport so that is the thing which we want to do it uh, over here so that will be just working so first thing let's create uh, certain uh, coins uh, over here so we can just start by creating again new class blueprint so just actor and let's name it as bp underscore coins uh, let's save that okay so this has created one uh, class which you have uh, it over here uh, so in this what we'll be doing is we'll just start adding the uh, static mesh now so add click on static mesh this time again the same cylindrical uh, thing we'll just choose so I think last class we have done the same thing. I'll just show again. This. So coin 90 degree. And let's add some kind of uh, material also for this. So gold material. So gold. And in this class uh, today we'll just uh, see uh, one more thing over here called uh, uh, sound so we'll just start adding sound as well so just a minute let's add rename it static mesh name it as coins and let's add this cylinder like it and this x-axis rotation 90 degree and just change this material again gold and we are done with this uh, so now uh, we'll just start adding uh, okay so we'll just start adding one more uh, thing for it like a collider and we'll just add one light also inside the scene so let's make it collider so box collision let's track increase the size of this and again add uh, one more thing called light 
This is the point light. Let's add one point light on the top. And increase the intensity of this little more. And let's change this color. Okay, so this is my uh, class is ready now. Okay, so I don't do anything inside this. So we have everything over here. So we need to write uh, something. So save this, compile it, and we are there with this. Okay, so I'll just go to this and close this now. So go to the content, blueprints, and we have this coin over here. So let's start adding that coin into the scene. So let's drag and drop this over here so you can just see. Add coin F. And we have this nice coin over here. can rotate and keep it okay so now we have this uh, coin and now uh, what we'll be doing it over here is we need to add uh, some kind of third person uh, character uh, to that so we'll be just adding that to this uh, over here so for that again uh, we can just select this double click on this coin okay so select this box and you can just right click over here add event and this time we just need to add this add on component uh, begin overlap so this is what we'll be just adding it so once you add it uh, what we'll be doing it we'll just need to uh, go for the third person uh, so cast to third person okay and once it uh, uh, touches that particular thing so what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, collide right so once we collide that what we have to do uh, it has to destroy that so I'll just add a destroy node for this so just type destroy actor so this is what our basic uh, script is there so one more thing I want to do it inside this uh, particular script is so if I just play now so let's save compile it and uh, so there is some object so add actor I just didn't add that and compile it and save that okay so once I save that I'll just see that what will happen over here when I play that so we have the coin over here let's move the character over there so it disappears even the light is going this time uh, so I'm just killing the actor uh, with this uh, uh, time over here so now next thing what I'll be doing it over here is uh, I need to add some kind of sound also to this so whenever it collects the coin uh, there should be some kind of sound uh, should be coming uh, over there so let's import if you want to use some kind of customized uh, sound right so I can just import the audio also over here so let's go to this content drawer so I need to bring certain audio also inside this so I'll just import the audio inside this uh, audio uh, folder so you can also go to file import and let's go for desktop I have this and I have some audio bell sound over here so that that is what I'll just use it so open that and now we have this bell sound which is over here so this is what we have this sound uh, which is over here and I need to add for this so whenever the character uh, character uh, goes or crosses this particular thing so some kind of sound also should come so it catches and some sound comes uh, when it uh, pass through that so that means it is collecting certain coin over here so for that also I need to go uh, to that blueprint so open that class blueprint and here uh, so where I want this particular uh, thing to be done over here so I just click on this and this time uh, we need to find it like play sound at location so what will happen is whatever the uh, at what particular location is there the sound will start playing over here and uh, what I need to do is see uh, and I can just select the sounds over here so what is the sound I need uh, for that so click on this bell and now I need to click on this and I need to find where the character is or the particular actor is so click it over here drag and search for get actor get actor location 
so i have done this now so what will happen now so uh, it will have the bell sound as soon as the character goes there and uh, selects that so save this compile it and let's check that how it works so play now if i just start playing that over here so it uh, have some kind of bell uh, which is ringing over here so now we have done with this particular uh, thing over here so as soon as this character goes towards that particular place uh, what is going to happen over here is it is going to uh, uh, select and it will destroy that character and then uh, what will happen uh, once it destroys the character uh, the sound is also going uh, for that and it is going to disappear so this is the first uh, thing will which we should be adding to this now and next uh, what i want to do it over here is i need to create a counter for this so uh, how do i create the counter so as soon as the character comes so this time we need to make uh, make a thing called uh, cast to uh, to the coin okay so what we'll do is i'll just go to this uh, content drawer again so blueprints so inside this we have third person character blueprint i need to open that so here we have this third person character and double click on this and here there is already a lot of scripts uh, over here for the character so when the character interacts with that uh, what should happen with that so that is the uh, script what we have it over there so now i just need to uh, work on this so what i want to open is so go to the viewport and this is the collider for the character is also there is certain kind of collider so when this is uh, colliding with that object uh, what should happen uh, over there so we need to define that over here is like uh, it is going to collect that uh, so we need to define certain variables also inside this uh, so what we'll do now so select the capsule and uh, you can come back to this event graph and here also i need to create a on uh, overlap collision event so add an event and add on component being overlap so this is again we have this one more uh, component over here so now uh, you can just click on this and what is the thing which we have defined over here so we just defined uh, that blueprint as vp cast to vp uh, coins so this is what the uh, blueprint i defined so i just uh, give the select that cast to bp uh, blueprint and here we need to de define certain uh, variables over here so when uh, it is collecting right so uh, when it is interacting with that it has to collect some kind of uh, coins over there uh, so we need to define some variable over here so we can just see on the left side you have some certain variables uh, if i just click on this uh, you can define the variables over here so let's define as total coin items like whatever i okay so once i define that so in this case we need to define uh, there is no boolean over here so uh, i need to make sure that i define it and there is no boolean we need to define certain uh, thing over here called as an integer so what will happen is it will uh, take uh, that as an integer and it will give the number like 0 1 2 3 uh, we will get that kind of number or it and now next thing what we have to do is we need to uh, set that uh, over here so uh, let click on this and type set set coins let's go for coins or something like this so, so coins so when I just uh, click on the coins, we have the set coins option. So I'll just click on that and we have the set uh, coin. So uh, it will tell that how many uh, coins are collected now. Uh, so we just want to define that. So this is the simple uh, thing. And now I need to tell that how many coins are collected over here. So we need to drag again this and we need to tell that as uh, get coins uh, over here. And here uh, we have this option. So from there, I can just connect to this and let's use from here called get coins so drag and drop get total uh, coins over here and set variable so yeah so it is fine <laughs> so i'll just use that now so once this is done now we can just connect this to this so and every time 
uh, what we have to do it over here is uh, we need to add so as soon as I select that it should uh, count the coins right so we need to add uh, that thing over there so I just add that over here inside this particular thing uh, so uh, just add that so once we are done uh, so every time what it has to do is it has to add one extra coin as every time it collects so click on this and uh, add that over here. so this is what the thing I'll just do and here I just need to write one now once it is done now we can just connect this to this and this is what we have done the counting uh, counter over here so now next thing what is what we have to do is we need to print that so once we have done the counter next thing uh, so this is what this simple uh, script will be there for counting that so now what I can do is over here so you can just click from uh, this particular thing and type print string so we have this print string option and again let's drag this count get total coins and I can just connect this to this so now uh, every time it updates uh, over here we we can just see particular counter so save this compile it and now this is fine and if I just have one more copy of this uh, over here so let's go to the blueprint now just add one more this W move it up and we can just keep adding it over here so alt drag it we have one more and i can rotate also keep it again alt drag it over here move it up so just start placing it on all the places over here and then let's start uh, playing that okay so now if i just go near this particular place so if I just come back over here so it is counting that on the left side of the screen so uh, if you see on the left side of the screen it will start uh, counting now over here so let's go again it is 2 then 3 so we have the counter which is over there so every time it is collecting the count we have certain counter uh, which is over there and this is what we have created now so now we need to create something uh, which which we can display uh, uh, on the top of uh, the screen right so for that also we need to uh, write uh, some kind of uh, widget uh, blueprint over here so which will be uh, adding to the screen so for that also uh, what you need to do it over here so again I'll just go uh, press escape and I'll just go to the content drawer and I just come back or I'll just create some folder name it as HUD whatever. okay so inside this uh, what I can do is I can just create some kind of uh, a counter which which we can display on the top of this so we can design that using this uh, option user interface and we have this something called widget uh, blueprint so this is where we can just design uh, any of this over here so click on this and click on this user and just name it as dp underscore hud okay so now double click on this so this is a blueprint so I just name it as over here and we can just see that we have all this uh, thing over here uh, which you can uh, design it inside this particular place so this is the interface uh, which you or if you want to add anything on the top of that we can just start adding that on the top of it over here so just search for box something uh, we have this uh, panel so we can just use this uh, horizontal box which you can place it over here now inside this you can adjust the size of this so how much you want the size for that you can just start increasing and decreasing so this is a rectangular box and uh, how much size you want it over here so inside this you need to add some certain uh, text uh, for that right so we have certain uh, text tools so we can just add certain text also over here and you can just start uh, you want to change the text like over here so let's name it as coin or uh, you can just name it as score okay so once you define the score over here what we can do is we can just start adding uh, 
uh, things for that so we can just increase the font size it is too small so here uh, we can just see that we can change the color of that here we have the font size so you just make it a little bit of bigger font size or so this is the score and again one more text you can add it on this uh, side over here and you can just name it as hash so you just name just type hash four times or how much you want and then you increase the size of that or okay so if you want to move that over here so there is something called transformation and uh, you want to add some more things to it like outline you want to change the color of the score you can change it so that is what we can just start uh, adding that to it over here so you can just see the uh, different spacing you want to adjust so all the attributes of that is over here so you can just uh, start adjusting uh, the navigation of it little bit of right you want the score so i want to give some space uh, between that and we have this score and this is the rectangle box which is now inside this we have this all the scores so now uh, what we need to define it over here is we need to define uh, we need to connect this uh, to the coins over here so that is what we need to do now so now to connect the coin uh, to this particular place so here when you have this hash you can have an option so you can just connect using this create binding option over here so once you click on that it opens up this uh, thing over here okay so inside this we have get text and now here what we need to do it uh, as soon as he uh, goes to the as soon as the character goes to that particular coin uh, it has to collect that coin over here so for that reason you can just left click and you need to cast to this third person character okay so cast to this third person character and now it is there and what is the object which you need to get it uh, over here so that will be the player and uh, this thing so uh, what we need to add it uh, to uh, this particular uh, thing over here is the coins okay so target will be the total coins over here so you can just uh, go for this and search for okay so you can just search for this so that is like total coins it will uh, collect from that and whatever the value is there uh, so uh, i need to convert from here to the uh, integer so we can just search and type create create or search for integer over here let's okay so certain value i need to take it from that uh why it is not showing yeah over here okay so i can just create the integer and then i can just uh, connect that value from here to that so i don't know why create the integer is not showing should be integer should be there so we need to connect that uh, to this uh, over here so to string integer not here to here yeah yeah so it is fine so we can just directly connect from here to this also it is done okay so it is going to return that uh, value to this now uh, the number of coins what if we have it over here so it is going to uh, show me that value over there so this is how we can just connect that uh, to this to text and then it goes to this uh, return that values and if i just compile this so there's some error from this uh, because that object is not connected over here so we need to get player so click on this get player character so again compile now it is done so i think now it is uh, ready for uh, displaying that coins over here so we have the target 
is coming from here and we have the to text string and now it goes to this value which is going to return now so this is what we have the simple uh, logic behind this and now we need to create the widget uh, whatever the we have created the widget uh, we need to display on the viewport so for that also uh, we need to write and we need to connect that so now this is only done so we are just defined the blueprint but we are not displaying that on any of the uh, viewport or something over there now to show that right so we need to again uh, uh, go to this gameplay mode so inside this if i just close this everything so where you need to display that uh, i'll just open this now i can just go for game go to the component game mode and this is the third person which is over here and this is where we need to write the uh, code so double click on this so this is the actual game mode and here i need to open the full blueprint editor so once i open that and what should happen when the event begins so we need to right click event begin play so once it is done uh, you need to create uh, a hed widget from this so click on this and type create yeah so we have this create widget so once this is done uh, from here what should happen over here is it should uh, add to the viewport uh, so we can just define it but first we need to define the class over here uh, what we have defined the blueprint so click on this class and we have this blueprint hud so that's what the display is there and where it has to display it has to display on the viewport so if i just left click and if i just show add uh, to viewport let's go for add So here we have this add to viewport okay and from here we can just return the value to this and whatever the value comes from this class uh, it is going to show on this display uh, so we have defined that uh, inside that particular thing so save and let's close this and let's start playing and checking that over here so we can just see that the score is already uh, shown up over here so I can change the position of this, but uh, let's check that it's too big right now. Okay, so it is collecting uh, the score and it is showing me up over here. So what I want to do is I need to still uh, work on this uh, part of that. So let's close this HUD and to make sure that the score comes towards the right side of the screen. So I just select that, go to the translation. I just want to move towards the right and we can just scale this and check it where the score should be so how much small the score should be make it towards more right so what is the size of the screen and how much you want to push this down or up little down okay so once you have uh, done this again compile it save that and let's start playing that game so let's we have this so it is gone too much uh, out outside now so it is not seeing into the screen so it is not in the safe uh, zone so we just bring it within this particular safe zone uh, so come down to this uh, transformation of that or font you can just see this let's select that okay so this thing you need to select and let's fix it towards left compile it close it play it yeah so yeah still it is too big so escape so you can just check that over here so how much uh, we want to bring it inside the uh, screen so what is the safe zone and if you feel that the font is also too big so let's start reducing the font size as well reduce even this one reduce it compile and save all the things over here so let's save all everything will be saved close and let's play that over here 
so now it is fine so if you still want to reduce you can just reduce that over here so it is too big okay so yeah it's there now uh, so uh, we can just start working on this the spacing over here so i feel it is too big so we just still want to reduce the size of this this tie i'm moving towards the right just check and the font so i can just still reduce the font size it's too big so 41 50 will be fine 73 And if I just uh, come down over here, we can just see certain properties of that also. Uh, so translation, it is too far. Just bring this down. It's fine. Compile it. Save. Close it. Okay, it's still out of the frame. So it is fine. So it is going out of the frame. So we need to make sure that it is proper place. Let's fix it in this category. Okay. It's weird. In the safe zone. And it has gone too much out for some reason. Let's uh, check that why it is not inside this uh, screen. Yeah, so it is there now. Okay, so that we can design it and we can just start uh, adding the uh, players now. So the color of that and uh, we can just keep starting adding the coins now. So now this is what we have done with this uh, whole uh, thing. So whichever the coins you want to place it at a different uh, place now, we can just start adding uh, the different blueprints at a different different place. And here you can adjust that. So we have this coin. So if you want, let till high uh, let's start fixing each of this uh, coins over here so inside the place so at a, at a different different place we want each of this coins over here let's fix that okay so we can just work with this uh, four views so let's go to the four views and it will be much easy for us to uh, duplicate that over here so alt drag it let's place that over here lift this up alt and drag it alt drag lift it up okay so just a simple uh, uh, gameplay we'll be just keep adding uh, at a different uh, place over here so this is what again alt drag it move it up So top view and work it will be much easy. Let's try. Alt and drag it again. Yeah, so all the places we have it over here, this is the coins which we have it. So it has to collect all the coins uh, which is on the top of this now. So if there is li like little bit of different space, so we might the character might has to come over here and then it has to go uh, up. So let's save everything, save all, and let's start adding that over here. So go to this full screen. Let's start playing the game. So we have certain scores.
so it is having all this scores are uh, coming up over here and then you can just go and here it is difficult for me to go there so we can also uh, try from this side now okay so the character is little bit of smaller scale our scale is too big inside this particular game for the character over here and now we can just try <laughs> working on this uh, so this is how the gameplay uh, which you can make it uh, like simple uh, score uh, game so you can just uh, using the simple script so we can just start working on any of this uh, collection of this so if you want a little bit of more complicated like we can also add health and all these things to this particular game oh it is gone okay so okay so the space is too much over there okay so this is what uh, we have all this uh, things so if you want to add some kind of obstacles or you want to place it uh, you can just try adding a uh, different things into the scene uh, you can also define another uh, collect collection of this coin so whenever it is collecting that a particular coin over here uh, of a different uh, color so there there can be also two kind of uh, coins over there so gold coins and any other uh, counter you want to add it uh, so we can also add uh, what all the gold coins he has collected what all the silver coins he has collected so you can just give the number for each and every uh, coins over there okay so this uh, the whole thing uh, which you can use it uh, using this way so uh, yeah we have this nice it keeps on going now from here to here he has to jump yeah, so he has collected now from here to here and yeah it's jump no this is the one thing which is too difficult for it to jump from here to uh, here so we need, that is only one way which you can go through that okay so that's what will happen inside this game so we need to just collect all the coins so let's go Okay, so we'll be also seeing that how we can change this uh, character with a, our own character also. So that I'll be just showing you uh, in next uh, sessions. So if you have your own character and you want to uh, place it over there, so how we can just do that? So it has done. Now it has to go to that. Yeah, so it has collected. Oh, it's so okay so just see that where he can uh, jump he don't have to go from all that uh, places i think this way also yeah so it's done so uh, we can write uh, once he collect all the uh, coins over here we can also tell that he has collected all the coins and uh, we can just write how many coins so this is the total score which he is having uh, right now inside okay so more complicated uh, levels which you can create so this is like a just a simple uh, level which is uh, collecting and all so if you want to add more elements into this uh, you can still add uh, different environments or elements over here so now we have defined one uh, coin so what will happen if it is just uh, uh, collides with some kind of different uh, coin over here so uh, you can destroy the actor also so whatever the ex uh, actor is there that you want to destroy uh, inside this particular scene so we can also destroy that particular character as soon as it touches that uh, over here so that also we can write it down so using the collider uh, over here okay so this is what uh, we have this particular uh, scene uh, inside this and uh, this like uh, we have to just keep in mind, mind like there are four things which we need to do it over here so first thing uh, you need to define this blueprint so this is what you need to define first uh, what will happen over here is one when the whenever the character collides with this uh, so third person character collides with this uh, collider over here so this is the box collider which is for the coin uh, what happens over here is it is going to destroy that particular character 
so that is what uh, the, our coin uh, thing will be over here so this is what we have done for this coin script and this is one more thing which we have added to this over here is we have added a certain sound so as soon as it collects that coin uh, so I have added this sound component for this okay so and I have just selected so if you want a different sound over here so we have lots of different uh, sounds over here so we can explosion is there so you have this bell uh, so by default there are some fire uh, sounds or some kind of uh, explosion sounds are there but if you want your own custom uh, sound so you can download any of the file like wave file uh, wav uh, file uh, whatever you want for that particular thing you can import it into the scene and then you can just start uh, playing that okay so uh, now if you instead of this sound if you just want like this i just want some kind of explosion for that C compile let's see this and uh, play that so it is going to change that sound like a explosion uh, sound which is going to come now so as soon as it touch that okay so yeah so any sound which looks nice uh, you can just go and change it over here so go to this coin and you just go to this explosion i don't like that so go for bell and let's save that compile it so save and compile and this is what it is going to do that and here this thing will tell uh, uh, where the location of that particular object is and uh, it is going to take that actor location over here uh, from this we know that where that uh, character is touching so it is taking that particular location in that so this is one thing what you need to define second thing uh, what you have to do inside this particular uh, script over here you need to open the third person blueprint character so open that third person double click on this and inside this we need to select this collider so uh, what will happen if this uh, collider so for this also if you want to write uh, some kind of script so if this collides with that what should destroy it you can also destroy this whole uh, character also uh, inside that okay so we have this now uh, so what we can do is like now if, if I just go to the event graph so here also we are defining certain uh, things over here so first thing what you are uh, defining over here is you need something to store uh, the data so that's why we have something called variables uh, so which we have uh, integer inside this so I just define this by clicking on this variable so you define that as a total coins over here okay so how many coins it has collected that is what it will be defined inside this uh, thing so it will show up uh, as a number over here so this integer number so like this we have different uh, things over here we have text you want to display the text you have strings uh, you have uh, integer you have boolean so whatever you want to see if it is float uh, if it is like 10.5 percent is energy is there or uh, if it is uh, having some kind of decimal value inside that then i'll be just using the float uh, inside this so uh, that is what we define it so if it is like full uh, we don't want any kind of decimal values inside this because this is a score so if it is it was something like health or something i need like 10.5 uh, or 11.5 percent uh, his health is remaining so in that case we can just use the float so for this now again uh, what will happen over here is as soon as it collides with that uh, particular coin uh, so uh, it should start counting that uh, how many number of coins it has uh, collected over here and uh, this node will add every time so if uh, once it has counted right so if if this is not there it will count the same number of uh, thing every time so uh, what will happen if this particular node is not there so let's see this so I'll just disconnect disconnect over here and if this is only connected to that now what will happen into this uh, script is every time it is going to count uh, one one number only so uh, if i just show you that what happens when you do that so you will better understand so let's see the score okay so the score is every time it is showing that as a zero value because it is not adding so uh, if i'm just collecting any of the coin uh, it is not going and adding to that over here so that is what this uh, thing will do so if i just open this again this add is what it is going to happen over there so just disconnect now connect this to this 
over here and from here to here we can just connect and we have this values over here so let's connect from to here okay so zero so that will be connected to zero and every time uh, it uh, adds so there is plus one over there so instead of plus one if you do two so what will happen so inside this uh, it will count every time every time it collects it will add two to the particular score let's check that Okay, so uh, every count it is having that as a uh, two score which is adding to that. So this is what will happen when you add this to uh, as a two. So how much count you want? So for every count, what is the value of this every coin over here? So if the value of every coin is 10, so uh, every coin it collects the score will go uh, by 10, 10, 10. So it, it will keep on adding 10 uh, times that particular score. So that's what this add value is going to do inside this uh, scene. So uh, now if you just play, so for every coin it collects, uh, so we can just write that it is collecting the score of 10, 20, 20. okay, so this is what will happen when we add that to this, inside this particular scene. Okay, so we have this uh, whole uh, scene over here. So if I just click any one of this and try to delete that. And let's fix this character over here uh, when where it starts. So there is no ground plane. Now what will happen over here is the character, uh, if it it is not going to jump over there, uh, it is just going to die inside. Let's fix the character over here. So it will start from this point as soon as it comes yeah so now it starts going so there is nothing on the ground now what will happen is uh, so it's over the game over okay so since there is no collision uh, inside the scene now so what will happen is it will uh, suddenly die so you can just make the level little bit of more harder uh, by removing any kind of surface which is there so as if it is not able to collect that coin uh, it is going to die so that that is what we have done right so, so I, I just move that so if there is something colliding object then it will be fine but uh, when there is nothing over there so you can just make the character jump I think in this place I'll just uh, remove that over here so let only that region should be there and that is the most uh, danger zone over there so I can just start adding that this we require this we don't need this also I don't need so very, very simple play okay. so this whole thing is one so let's delete even this part yeah, so we have this uh, particular uh, game. So I don't need this all this uh, extra thing. So it will be uh, less heavy on your system. Let's have this all. So the landscape was too big, and uh, you can just plan it however the way you want the game. Uh, so whenever he's going to uh, collect that last thing, uh, so what will happen to that particular place? You can just see it. So I'll just select that. And now uh, we can just save all this and I need to place the actor in a proper place when you are starting uh, this uh, game. So player start point should be in a proper place otherwise uh, as soon as the game starts it will fall uh, down so make sure that it is over here. Press F. Yeah. At what place you want the player to be. So now this is like little bit of more difficult uh, level uh, to play. So when I am playing that now. So till here it will be fine. Till here it will be fine. So once it goes to collect uh, some other place, uh, some of the other place over here. So that is where it will be little bit more difficult for the character to 
collect the coins in that particular place yeah so here okay so this is something which is challenging for the character to collect the uh, coin over there so that uh, difficulty level which you can plan it so whether the character can jump from here So now let it go. <laughs> no, he can't go back. So that's what. Uh, this is the level which you can uh, create, like this. So so it will be nice. Uh, so once the game finish, you can also write uh, something like uh, end game or something, or uh, level is failed uh, in the thing. So when there, whenever that is, whenever it is jumping out of that bounding thing. So yes, yeah, so this is what we can do with this uh, particular game uh, play over here. So you can just see that how it.